What's going on everybody? If you're seeing this page, that means the official Torian and Rain Reloaded merch store is now available. To get access to the store, make sure you go ahead and click the store tab on my YouTube channel. From there, you will be able to see all the merch that is available. We have mugs, shirts, hoodies, joggers, and so much more to come. All original designs made by yours truly, Torian and Rain Reloaded. Now go ahead and get your merch today and you can feel nothing in style. All right, new tonight here at 10 o'clock, a pretty incredible story of a family of three wondering why their baby daughter kept getting sick and why they had a strange odor in their home. Was it their apartment? Was it the water? Well, when they saw this, a man injecting some sort of chemical through the bottom of their door into their home, they knew their lives could be in jeopardy. Fox 13's Janae Lewis is here with us in studio tonight with this story. Uh, Janae, uh, we're speechless here. Yeah, it's hard to watch that video and not feel any other way. The family says the excitement they had of moving into their new home quickly turned into terror, and you saw why. As for a frustrated neighbor took his concerns too far, now they're afraid to be inside that very home. It is. It is extremely scary. Umar Abdullah says it's very difficult to talk about the last few months. He says it started with complaints from a downstairs neighbor over noise. So after my daughter was born in August last year, um, his complaint, like footstep complaint, drawer closing. But escalated to this. I installed a hidden camera outside because we were suspecting someone is basically tampering our place from outside. And then we caught our neighbor injecting something through our door. He says a friend noticed an unusual chemical odor in their home in May. They checked the appliances, hoping to determine the source of the smell, but couldn't. A month later, Umar says his eyes started to burn and his daughter was coughing and throwing up. He says the smell had returned, so he checked the water heater nearby, finding a strong odor. I was bending down. I sniffed all to that place. and After replacing it, Umar says the odor and discomfort returned. This is when he set up the hidden camera. On June 27th, I found that uh, our neighbor is coming with a syringe. You know, he's pulling something from a vial and then he's injecting through our entry door. Entry door. If we could not have found that incident uh, on the camera, probably after a few days, we might have been just dead. He called police and records show Zooming Lee was arrested and charged with multiple counts of battery and possession of a controlled substance. The report identified him as a USF student. A spokesperson from USF says he is no longer enrolled as of this summer. He was a PhD student in the chemistry department. If people use their uh, knowledge, this extreme knowledge to harm people, I mean, they can be even more dangerous. Umar says he was told Zooming is in the process of relocating, but they're still very uneasy, never we thinking their home the would become a place so they now we fear. I can never expect a neighbor, I mean, I can never imagine to expect expect something like that happen to anyone. I, I wish no one else would have to go through a situation like this ever in their life. Omar says several agencies are now investigating, waiting for final lab reports to determine the exact substance that was injected, but he says they were hazardous chemicals. The family is hoping to relocate, but as we report all the time, housing isn't the easiest to find right now. In the studio, Janae Lewis, Fox 13 News. So y'all just heard that news report right there. And the way I actually found out about this story was uh, on a video that I recently did. And one of my subscribers had left a comment, leaving a link to that exact news clip that y'all just heard. And I didn't even get through the entire clip. And I said, okay, I'll definitely talk about this. And how ironically, before I even began to record this video, this story started to pop up even more like in my discord and somebody had DM'd me on Instagram and the person who DM'd me on Instagram, I told him that I had planned on recording the video the next day. And here we are. So as you can see right here and y'all saw the image itself as the audio was playing on the news clip of this man right here, whose name is zooming Lee injecting a substance with a syringe under the door of his neighbor. And that's a, his mugshot right there in the top left corner. If y'all looked at the thumbnail, you had a better look at the, uh, at his mugshot. This is some wild stuff right here. It's a crazy the lengths people will go to terrorize people. Because let's just call it what it is. This man committed, in my opinion, what is a domestic terroristic act to inject chemicals under the door 
of his neighbors because of quote unquote noise complaints. And apparently, allegedly, the chemical that this man was injecting under the door of his neighbors was apparently an opioid chemical agent. It's all alleged at this point. It hasn't been proven that exactly what it was, but it's alleged to have been a opioid chemical agent is what they're calling it. But I'm going to read this article coming from Law and Crime that was posted August 25th, 2023. A Florida man is facing multiple felony charges after allegedly being caught on surveillance fo footage in what appears to be an attempt to slowly poison his neighbors using weaponized opioid injections. Now, you got to think this guy used something that people inject into their into their body, into their into their um, bloodstream, into their veins to get a high. Something that can cause them to OD. This guy was injecting this under the door of his neighbors. Because remember, when it comes to opioids and certain uh, chemicals, if you even touch it or get in close quarters with it, it can cause you to OD. Now, I don't know what opioid chemical agent he used allegedly, but hopefully this article will tell us what it is or what he possibly used. Zooming Lee, age 36, stands accused of three counts of battery, two counts of aggravated stalking, and one count each of burglary, possession of a controlled substance, and battery on law enforcement. According to Hillsborough County Police, I'm sorry, court, records reviewed by law and crime. The bizarre allegations came after the victims of the attacks secretly filmed the assailant injecting drugs into their condominium. Umar Abdullah and his then pregnant wife moved into their new home in June 2022, the husband told Tampa based NBC affiliate WFLA. In time, the couple's baby girl was born, and the sound of new life filled the residence, apparently upsetting their downstairs neighbor. Abdullah said the defendant began to text him about these smallest noises, like a toilet seat moving, complaining that he couldn't sleep. He complained about footsteps. Abdullah explained to Tampa-based Fox affiliate WTVT. He complained about door closing sounds. My landlord and I did a simulation and we could hardly find any sound. The complaints from the man downstairs continued for months, Abdullah said. His defenses against the claims of noisiness did as well. It sounds like to me this guy was just being a straight up asshole for no reason. Like they said, he was complaining about the littlest and smallest and minute things he was finding to complain about when it was really nothing at all like there was no other complaints from anybody else but him so he was like he looked like he was just looking for a problem where there was none but to go to this extent to do what you did like the like the neighbor said in the audio he could have he and his family could have died from this and this guy didn't care i guess this was this was his way of saying or trying to get them to move out Thankfully, the family, you know, him and his wife had the wherewithal and their suspicions was risen for them to put a hidden camera out there that somewhere where he couldn't see or detect him to catch this guy in the act of what he was doing. And I know they were probably shocked to learn that this guy was going to this extreme. I'm sure anybody would, because this is not something you see every day. Then the family started getting sick, grogginess, vomiting and more. At first, Abdullah said the illnesses were a mystery. When the family went on vacation, however, a friend noticed a distinct chemical smell. Once the family returned, they noticed the smell as well. Something like nail polish remover, Abdullah told WFLA, but more obnoxious. I look at my daughter, the father told the TV station. Her eyes were full of tears. She was not crying, but her eyes were full of tears. Realizing the smell was likely the culprit for the spat of sickness, the family tried everything they could to isolate and eradicate the source. An air conditioning company struck out, as did a plumber who did check, who checked the water heater, which the landlord had even replaced. The air ducts and vents were clean, but the smell came back again, again, and again. Even the local fire department's own experts couldn't figure it out. Eventually, the new father realized there was a small crack in the corner of his front door. His thoughts went back to his neighbor. 
I installed a small hidden camera outside because we were suspecting someone was basically tampering with our place from outside. Abdullah said in comments to WTVT. And then we got our neighbor injecting something through our door. According to a Tampa Police Department affidavit filed in a case and obtained by WFLA, a hazardous materials test determined Lee was injecting a liquid that law enforcement termed a chemical agent into the crack of the family's door. Testing showed the presence of both methadone and hydrocodone in that agent. Even during war, the worst enemies do not attack the opponent, the other party, with chemicals, Abdullah told WFLA, referencing the widely acknowledged international humanitarian law prohibition against the use of chemical weapons in state conflicts. Lee was arrested in late June and quickly made bond. He has pleaded not guilty to the charges. Footage showing the alleged injection in which the defendant can be seen crouching down near the family's door with a syringe in his right hand was only recently released. The defendant is currently slated to appear in court on December 5th for a hearing in his case, Hillsborough County Court Records Show. And that's the article. And the reason why he pleaded not guilty again is because he didn't know that he was being watched. So he didn't realize, like, again, the couple, the neighbors were smart to install this camera where he didn't see it. Because remember, they just said that this footage was just recently released even though this even though he was arrested back in june but he pleaded not guilty at the time i wonder what the look on his face was when he saw that he was caught on that camera i bet his lawyers are probably like oh god i don't know how we're gonna get you out of this one because as you can see by this picture he definitely is holding a syringe in his hand and he's definitely pressing against the top of it to, as in to inject something into the door. And even if it wasn't anything in there, it's still a very suspicious looking piece of imagery that anybody's walking around with a syringe to inject something. Even if it was just air under somebody's door. And again, all of this started because the neighbor, this guy right here, zooming Lee, complained about little small noises that only apparently he could hear. And he was so irate about it that he decided I'm going to go ahead and just get these these opioids, put it in this syringe, and then I'm going to inject it under my neighbor's door to the point where even their friend could smell it. And they had all these people come out and do all of this stuff to see if they could rectify the situation and nothing worked. And then they find this out. And this is why this guy is extremely sick. And I hope he does some serious time for what he did. Luckily, that family, all they got was just a little sick. But what if it was worse? What if they actually did die or one of them did? Remember, they have a child. And, you know, the child's immune system is still ongoing. But what if one of the parents had a health issue? Then their immune system is compromised. And this guy would have made it worse. But of course, he didn't think about that. Usually when people commit these kind of acts, they, they usually only think of fulfilling a mission. And the fact that he kept coming back to do it because they know that this wasn't the first time he's done this. Because remember, they kept smelling this over time. So this was a repeated routine for him. He kept doing it. It's not like it was a one time thing. He did it often. Now, I would like to know. If he came every other day, did he come a couple times a week or was he going the, the distance and came up there every single day? Either way, it was a repeated effort on his part. But yeah, like I said, this takes naughty neighbor to a whole nother to a whole nother level. This guy is extremely disturbed to say the least and i say that i use that loosely 